We've all experienced some strange event during our lives. But the question is, do you believe in fate? Or perhaps you believe the universe works in some weird ways. Whether you're a skeptic or a believer, it's certain that there have been some seriously creepy coincidences throughout history. In this video, we've decided to go through some truly bizarre and creepy coincidences, from the death of some key historical figures, to movies, to some famous celebrities. Here are the creepiest coincidences in history. Number 10. The Jim Twins Well, we've decided to start with the creepiest one. A pair of identical twins were separated when they were just a few weeks old, and they've lived separate lives, being adopted by different families. But the brothers eventually met when they were 39. What was weird is they discovered that they both had lived very comparable lives. And let's not forget, they were separated at birth. Now, get ready to go through some weird facts. Both families named their sons James, therefore the name the Jim Twins. Both men married women named Linda, and both divorced their own Linda so they could marry a woman named Betty. It's getting weirder. They both have sons with the names of James Allen. They both spent a holiday in Florida. The story about the twins went viral, and it's one of the most shocking stories even today. What do you guys think? What's behind this story? Is it simply a coincidence, or is it because of some strange twin connection? Number 9. The Hoover Dam As certain records claim, there were 96 deaths connected to the building of the Hoover Dam. One of the first deaths was John Gregory Tierney. He, unfortunately, drowned during a flash flood in the violent Colorado River on December 20th, 1921. Fourteen years later, on the same day, December 20th, 1935, there was another death. And believe it or not, it was Tierney's only son, Patrick William Tierney. Patrick's death was associated with the dam. He died because he fell from one of the intake towers on the Arizona side of the Black Canyon. Now, knowing this, many people have claimed that the dam was cursed in some way. But others claim that it is simply a weird coincidence. What do you guys think? Number 8. James Dean's Car Weird as weird can get. In 1955, the actor James Dean owned a Porsche Spider, a model which was hard to find. He named the car, and the given name was Little Bastard. But this fancy car was nothing like the other fancy car celebrities own. The weirdest thing is that people believe this car to have been cursed. James Dean died in this car in an accident when he was going to a racing competition. You would think, well, there are tons of accidents, so nothing weird about that. But since it wasn't a car that a non-celebrity person owned, people quickly rushed to get it. Someone bought the car after Dean's death to get it fixed up. While mechanics were emptying the car, its engine fell out and broke both legs of one of the engineers. Later, Troy McHenry and William Eshrit got parts of the car. With the parts placed, McHenry died after crashing into a tree, and Eshrid flipped his car and got serious injuries. If we would list every accident connected to the car, we would need days and days. However, we're pretty sure that the car was cursed. Do you guys agree? Number 7. Two Atomic Bombs On August 6th and 9th, 1945, two nuclear bombs were detonated over the Japanese cities of Hiroshima and Nagasaki individually. This resulted in nearly 90,000 people dying. But in 2009, the Japanese government confirmed that at least one man survived the two bombs and lived to tell the story. On August 6th, Tsutomu Yamaguchi was in Hiroshima on a business trip. Quote, As I was walking along, I heard the sound of a plane. Just one, he said. I looked up into the sky and saw the B-29, and it dropped two parachutes. I was looking up into the sky at them, and suddenly, it was like a flash of magnesium, a great flash in the sky, and I was blown over. On August 9th, he went home to Nagasaki. The poor man had no idea about the events that were about to happen. Notwithstanding the repeated radiation exposure, Yamaguchi lived to be 93 years old. He passed away in 2010 from stomach cancer. Now, get ready for some more eerie facts. Number 6. Stephen Hawking's Death So, is there some fair explanation of how the famous astrophysicist Stephen Hawking 
died on the same day Albert Einstein was born, which is also the same day we celebrate the mathematical constant pi? Nope, it's just all one really weird coincidence. So, Hawking died at 76. He was one of the world's leading theoretical physicists, improving significant theories on black holes and writing a brief history of time to simplify complicated scientific concepts to people. Now, March 14th is also Pi Day. 314, 3.14, get it? As some people say, comparing Hawking with what may appear like a foolish holiday based on a mathematical coincidence may seem extreme and not respecting Hawking's intelligence and achievements. However, the unique coincidence was not lost on the internet. Stephen Hawking also died on Einstein's birthday. The date of Hawking's death, 314, is significant because 3.14 are the first three digits of pi, as we previously said a bedrock of geometry. Specifically, it's the ratio of a circle's circumference to its diameter. But somehow, these minds are linked by a very strange coincidence, don't you think? Number 5. The Omen Curse, the film's death scene. The Omen 1976 is one of the most disturbing films in cinema history. However, the movie is nothing compared to the events that happened to the cast of the film. Now, where do we start? First, special effects consultant John Richardson, who was in charge of the film's death scenes, got into a crash while working on his next film. His girlfriend and assistant, Liz Moore, also died, and she was cut in half by the accident. The creepiest thing is that this was comparable to the death of character Keith Jennings in The Omen. What's even creepier is that the real-life son of actor Gregory Peck, who was the adoptive father in the film, shot himself in the head soon after Peck took the role. And that wasn't the end of creepy events. Screenwriter David Seltzer and executive producer Mace Newfield were both on planes that were struck by lightning soon after the movie. This can't be a coincidence. There's got to be some dark background, right guys? Number 4. The Tragic 27 Club Many famous people, including musicians and actors, have all died at the age of 27 and there are tons of conspiracy theories related to this number. This strange appearance was first noticed between 1969 and 1971, when Janis Joplin, Brian Jones, Jimi Hendrix, and Jim Morrison died, all at the age of 27. The name The 27 Club was made up when Nirvana lead singer Kurt Cobain died in 1994. Later, in 2011, the iconic Amy Winehouse also died at age 27. Normally, fans never got over the deaths of these talented musicians. However, this is a really weird fact. According to a scientific study published in the British Medical Journal, there's no grown risk of musicians dying at the age of 27. But for us, this still stays a mystery. Number 3. My Way now, here's a song you'll never dance to after you find out the history behind it. Strangely, at least six people were killed in the Philippines between 2000 and 2010 while singing the song My Way by Frank Sinatra on karaoke. Most incidents happened when the singer was singing the popular song out of tune, making crowds ridicule them. Such is the case of San Mateoin in 2007. A security guard yelled at Romy Baligula while he was halfway through the song. Despite him yelling, Baligula continued singing and the security guard shot him in the chest. What is concerning about this special song is that it's been linked to several other deaths. However, the song has been banned from many bars in the Philippines because of the previously mentioned events. Is there any dark background? Or is this yet another strange coincidence? Let us know your thoughts about this one. Number two, three accidents. As a ship stewardess, Violet Jessup has seen everything. But to live through two of the most shocking sinkings in one collision? Well, that's just unbelievable. Luckily, Violet Jessup survived all three. Jessup was on the RMS Titanic in 1912 when the infamous sinking happened. She was aboard Lifeboat 16 and handed a baby to look after. Later, its sister ship, the HMS Britannic, sunk in 1916. She again survived this incident. She was also aboard the RMS Olympic when it hit a British warship in 1911. There were no deaths in this one. Jessup lived a long life as she died at 83 in 1971. What are the odds of surviving all three of these wrecks? 
Number 1. Soldiers Killed in World War I Now, number one is quite sad and tragic. By the time World War I ended, it had taken approximately one million British lives. But somehow, without any preparation, the first recorded English victim of the war, 17-year-old soldier John Parr, and the last recorded victim, 30-year-old George Edwin Ellison, have graves that face one another just 15 feet apart in the St. Sephorian Military Cemetery. On a related note, which of these creepy coincidences surprised you the most? You can tell us in our comment section down below. If you'd like more videos like these, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so you never miss any of them. And as always, thanks for watching.